Tripping Through Time, Untold Psychedelic Stories. The Father of DNA and His LSD Confession. Francis Crick, born on June 8, 1916, was an English molecular biologist, biophysicist, and neuroscientist. He gained worldwide recognition for his pivotal role in elucidating the structure of DNA, one of the most significant discoveries in the history of science. Crick's work has garnered numerous awards and accolades, including the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1962. In the early 1950s, Francis Crick, along with his partner James Watson, and the critical contribution of Rosalind Franklin, made a breakthrough discovery regarding the structure of DNA. They unveiled the double helix structure that laid the foundation for understanding genetic information and heredity. This groundbreaking revelation earned them the Nobel Prize in 1962. Crick was a well-respected scientist and an intelligent man, but he also had a more eccentric side. After his discover of the double helix, it was reported that he excitedly ran to his nearby pub, the Eagle Pub in Cambridge, and boasted about his discovery over a pint of beer, showing what an unorthodox man he was. One persistent rumor surrounding Crick's achievement is that he tripping and was under the influence of the hallucinogenic drug LSD, lysergic acid diethylamide, when he and Watson made their groundbreaking discovery in 1953. Fun fact, his wife Odile Crick drew the first known image of the double helix we know so well today. While his discovery changed science and our understanding of medicine, genetics, and disease on an intricate level never before known, mystery still swirls around his discovery. Was he really influenced by the psychedelic substance while he made his great discovery? Were the rumors that he was known for taking LSD regularly true? This claim has intrigued many, but what are the facts? The primary source of this rumor appears to be a speculative passage in the book, The Eighth Day of Creation, by Horace Judson, which claimed that Crick may have experimented with LSD. He was in fact said to be a regular user. However, for most of his career, he never admitted to using LSD during his scientific work. Moreover, those who worked closely with him denied any knowledge of such use. Sadly, the brilliant scientist passed away July 28, 2004 after struggling with colon cancer. His ashes were scattered in the Pacific Ocean. Shortly before his death, he revealed a deathbed secret to his friend and fellow scientist, revealing that he often used small doses of LSD, then an experimental drug used in psychotherapy, to boost his powers of thought. It was said other scientists in his circle were also doing the same during the time. With the threat of public disapproval or discrediting long past him, Crick finally admitted it was LSD, not the Eagle's warm beer, that helped him to unravel the structure of DNA, the discovery that won him the Nobel Prize, Reese, 2004. It was also known that Crick was a dedicated fan of Aldous Huxley, who was also known to experiment with psychedelic substances, such as mescaline, which influenced his own writing and work. Furthermore, he was an advocate for the potential of psychedelics, and even wrote a renowned and infamous letter to the Times in 1967 vouching for drug law reform. He even headlined a cannabis legalization group named SOMA, inspired by the fictitious drug in Huxley's novel Brave New World. He also had discussions with Richard Kemp and David Solomon, who was a friend of psychedelic advocate Timothy Leary, about the possibilities of extracting pure THC from cannabis. While he was an academic, he was clearly more open-minded and progressive than many scientists of his time and a passionate believer in the benefits that psychedelics and other substances could bring if legalized. If he could see the many states in the US and countries such as Canada where cannabis is now legal, he would surely be impressed. In conclusion, Francis Crick's legacy is cemented in the realm of molecular biology and the discovery of the DNA double helix, an accomplishment that shaped our understanding of genetics and laid the groundwork for countless advancements in science and medicine. We have him to thank for genetic screening, ancestry tracking, CRISPR gene editing, and so many advancements that were built of his breakthrough. And now we finally know for a fact that we also have LSD to thank for inspiring this brilliant scientist and shaping our world in untold ways. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more psychedelic history stories and biographies.